it's chipmunk time! <laughs> hey everybody, hello and welcome to this oddly timed edition of Massively Overpowered Television. <laughs> I was uh, captured by some filth and uh, couldn't get away, so basically, um, it, it's, it's been odd. Odd, 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 odd. But we are here... We are ready to get going with some cool Secret Worldy stuff. And if you don't know what the Secret World is, why did I suggest that you get it? Get it! Get it! Ha 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 ha. All right, let's jump in. Today we are going to be getting our very own Museum of the Occult. Because what chipmunk doesn't need a Museum of the Occult of its very own? Right? That's pretty much it. <laughs> All right, so we've got to figure out. So it's here in London. I know where this. I'm going to assume that the mission to get that to get it is actually going to be there. So let's head off. Oop, oop, that's not where I wanted to turn. The moon, the moon, it beckons me. All right, let's see if I can actually get one of these first, and then I can invite friends into it. Oh, wait. No, this is going to be the... that's not going to let me pass no matter what, huh? Crud. I hate that part. Nah, it's not going to let me either. Running around without my uh, <laughs> UI on. There we go. Here we are. They're going to let me... Th Oh, come on. Let me through. Let me through. Fine. I'll just keep going. Stupid cops. Not all cops are stupid, by the way. Just those guys that aren't going to let me through. I need to go the long way. I guess I do have to go the long way, don't I? You know, I've never actually gone this way on my Illuminati, have I? Let's, let's, bring, our, let's bring our UI back. Where are we going, anyway? We're going... Yeah, we're going all the way around. We're going all the way around. There we go. Chipmunk on a Vespa. We gotta go all the way around. Up, oh, here we go. Go this way. Then this way. See, my Templar knows where she's going. Ah! Ha ha! You can't stop me now! Woo! Oh. <gasps> Oop! Whoa! Lore! Lore! There's gonna be so much more lore. It's amazing. I'm so excited for lore. The British Museum of the Occult. Alright. This is where everybody's museum is. So we go inside, we talk to him, I think. I don't know. I already had one. You are the... Wait. There was no quest? I thought you had to do a quest to get it. I thought there was supposed to be kind of an easy quest. Well, wow, that was pretty easy. <laughs> and look! Look! So they took out the entire idea of having a quest at all. <laughs> oh. oh, let's see if I have any other. Oh wait, that's the update appearance and no, I haven't earned anything else. Oh wow. Okay. Hello. Hi, sir. Oh, so this is, this is your museum instance. Your friends can come in here. It's easier if you group them. So I guess I can... Let's go find my friends. Cause I got friends in... Oh, let's do it this way. That way they can meet up. It's easier if they meet up. Boot, boot, boot. 
we'll just drag her down. I'm, I'm just... So basically, if you can walk around, if your character can walk around, then you can get one. <laughs> so much for doing a quest, huh? Let's see. Dark Star has been reading up on some of the lore and updates, waiting for the new PC to get here so you can play the game. Yay! <laughs> wow. I, you know what? We've got to call that. We, we literally have to call that an investigation mission so that everybody can feel like, Whoa! I can totally solve this! Oh, sweet. Okay, so these plaques weren't here when I toured. You've got the plaques telling you where to go. This guy is who you have to talk to to buy the different rooms and stuff. I'll be back. This is your gift shop. And you've got these guys from all the different places. And uh, they buy, they sell you these, the mnemonic guardians. Uh, these are the little pet-like things. They're consumables, but they come out and, and age you. Uh, you have to earn enough lore and everything to be able to do that. I actually don't think I can open up anything because we don't have any lore yet. N any of the new lore. And then, oh, look, so you've got um, all the the shirts that people made. Oh, hang on, I gotta... I think I gotta take the outfit off for you guys to be able to see these. <laughs> okay, hang on, take the outfit off. Uh, no, no, not that. We want the dressing room. All right, we'll take off the mask for now. Aren't I wearing a uniform? Yeah, a killer chipmunk. All right, so let's go ahead. We should be able to preview it, shouldn't we? I can't even preview if I can't buy it. What? What? Okay, that sucks. I broke stuff. <laughs> oh man, I wanted to show you guys. So these are the the artworks that people did. The monster art contest. This is what they're in here. And they see they're actually by and the person who made it. By the person who made it. By and the person who made it. So basically, I can't buy anything. That's the Tokyo Museum vendor. It's got a Smiler mech. That's pretty cool. Like? Transylvania. Fungal filth. See, so it looks like you've got male and female versions, but I have not unlocked or earned anything. Oh, see, look, you can buy, buy a little Sasquatch pet. I mean, New England Wisp. Oh, you can buy pets! <laughs> I'm so excited. And of course, it's kind of cool in here, you know? See, look at this. Of course, you get some bingo cola. They don't let you actually take any of these. I'd, I'd love to mail some to my friends. <laughs> ah, okay, so, telling you, so here's the Egypt, Tokyo, and Transylvania this way. Um, Egypt, this way. I think I'm going to aim for Solomon Island first. Because I love Solomon Island, although Transylvania. Here are you though, the Cult of Atten. This one is the Fauna. So animals of Egypt. Nope. There are the only two down here right now. Look, see, and this guy follows you. This this is your personal curator. So he comes and you can buy from him and everything. All right. Uh, I need the curator's contract to open the wing. All right. So let's see if I have enough money and everything to, to buy. First draft. Curator's contract. 50000 I got enough. My, what? Have I not been, oh, I was not paying attention to my, I was not paying attention to my inventory from our last 
run around. I literally, well, I've spent the whole, I, I've moved, so basically I didn't have any gaming time. So, all right, here we go. Curator, first draft contract. Oot, so the first three will cost 50000 Then you need to move up to the second draft. Then you need to move up to the third draft. So every three will cost a few more. Global, New England, Transylvania, Tokyo. New England! Cozy Dracula. <laughs> I know, I, I have to find... You have to find three of the lore... in order to uh, start unlocking the first level of any critter. So we'll have to find, well, oh yeah, that guy like scared me the first time he did that. All right, the cycle of the drog, local legend, ooh, local legends, I think I like that idea. Or what's this other one? The reanimate, oh. Local Legends. We are doing Local Legends. That is totally the one I'm going to buy. Yes. Local Legends of New England. Woohoo! Here it is! My very first wing! Unlock any museum wing. Oh! All right, so then what you do is you go and you find out what is needed for pedestals. So this is the Akab. You guys have all seen this area, I'm pretty sure. I have the ability points. I have a pedestal. I have an achievement, but I need two of the lore. So two lore. Okay, I, I've got I've got to go lore looking for that. And this one, what does this one need? Wendigos! Wendigos, man! Unlooper, a friend spent 20 million on contracts. Woo, yeah. Oh, I don't have Fool's Fire, so I can't do Wisps. I hey, guess Wisps will be a while. And you can't do the center one here until you actually put the the base number down on on every single one of these then you can start the center and then once you get the next level up on all of these then you can level up the center then when you get the last level up on all of these then you can level up the center uh, let me just tell you the Transylvania one is worth it Transylvania is totally the next one I'll be getting all right what else do we have achievement restless for the ref oh I want the revenant Totally want the Revenant one. And look at these, how these are all set in. They can actually, like, put new areas in without too much trouble. So if the, the museum were to expand, see ability points, pedestal achievement. Oh, the Boogeyman lore. One lore? One lore. Oh, I bet we have to go do the um, park to find that. All right, this one's Sasquatch. Now, this is cool because the Sasquatch is one of the only ones you don't have to have a kill number for because you can't kill any Sasquatch in this game. So you basically have other things. This one used the Sasquatch tree achievement, which I don't remember what I did to achieve that. I have no idea what I did to achieve that. And then we also have in here uh, the ancient Akab. So this one is um, not your regular Akab. That is one where you can find a hidden, uh, that's one of the hidden special ones. Um, Dark Star, this is all new lore. This is all new lore that's gone into game. Tons of new lore. Alright, so you could also do the Akab Nymph. The little, little tiny Akabs. Achievement Splat. <laughs> Alright, so. And then you change the uh, 
if you have any of the pedestals down, you can you can change change things. Pose is there. Pose art. What else does he have? Oh, so basically I got the, the pedestal um, for just opening up the first thing. So that's pretty cool. So you buy your first contract, you get an achievement, and the achievement grants you your first pedestal. That's pretty nice. So you can see, see you've got the, the four drafts, and then you've got the beginning pedestal. You have the next up, and then you have the, the paragon level. And then the centerpiece has each of those. You notice that this is a bit pricey. We Oh, the undead version has a really nice centerpiece too. Um, so I can't show you all the rooms because I don't have the money to buy all the rooms. That's not going to happen. Um, but so he'll just, the curator just follows you around in case you need to purchase anything. So that is what your your museum is going to look like when you come in. Now your friends can come in, so like Kat can actually meet up on me and come in here and join me. She probably doesn't want to. She's like, eh, it's so boring there. I'm water coming. <laughs> Does water cooler work? So as of the last time I talked with devs, uh, 50 they just they just announced actually I got to kind of break that news they uh, 50 people could actually be inside here ack no it changed I don't want it to change I want it to be the chipmunk again chipmunk outfit no no why do I keep pressing that button go back to the chipmunk I thought it said you could dress it however you wanted uh, you can, you can. Clothing uh, you own. Yeah, it has to be something you own. You have to put on something. So let me just find. Where's my? <laughs> it's actually I wanted the. Come on, come on. Where is it? Where is it? Why am I not? Killer chipmunk. There we go. And hat. Killer chipmunk. Under K's. Then you come over here and you click update appearance. I had clicked update appearance and was wearing the same thing, so that might have been when I changed. Like I if I change now, does it will it change? It shouldn't. See? <laughs> It didn't change, at least not right away, when you put the morph suit on. No, because you, yeah. I don't know if it might take some time or if that was a... Because I hit change appearance and it's like, what do you want me to change into? And then I took the suit off after? I don't know. But this is how it's supposed to work. You put on whatever you want. And then you go over and you hit that change appearance button. And you can come up here and you actually get to read up on a player. So, how many zombies have I killed? How many filthy humans have I killed? How many cursed cultists? How many ghouls and how many locusts? Our benefactor's most impressive paranormal trophies. <laughs> <coughs> sponsor, dedicate the statue and the sponsor of Emilia for doing her part in restoring the museum. Reverse the tide, defended a Garth and completed Whispering Tide event. Building the Nameless, defeated the nameless being that lies beneath and threatened to destroy. Along the trial, Trail of Shadows, tracked down with all the mysterious shadow. Final page of Kaiden, explored the mysteries of Kaiden and put an end to Lilith's machinations in Tokyo. Oh. So basically that's saying a little bit about completing a couple of events and a couple of issues. Alistair <laughs> and the chipmunk freaks me out. That's the whole point! Listeran thinks, I have to admit, I think this is a brilliant addition. It really appears, appeals to the collector completionist in me. Now I have to go back to the secret world again. Yes, exactly. Flux Tools, AMJ, you better not drag me into TSW. I've checked it out and I'm not coming back till they do another AP event, which exhibits are so expensive. Um, that AP event will be starting in a mere days. So you better just get in and, 
and start planning what you want to use your AP for. <laughs> yeah, the anniversary event is going to be coming up. It's, I mean, the anniversary is just on the third, guys. So get in here, get ready, get prepared. Start off, You, I mean, it may take you the whole week to figure out which outfit you want to have displayed. <laughs> Um, but so this museum is meant to be something to grow with you as you play so even if you're a brand new character you come in and you probably can't unlock a wing yet but that actually um, the first unlock does not cost as much as it looks like you get that stuff when you do missions pretty easily so you can get your first wing you can start going after your first stuff probably New England because that's where you're hanging out um, and just start going but for the higher levels that have a lot of the stuff you don't have AP sinks anymore so much you know and you don't have money sinks definitely so me I don't make a lot of money so this is gonna take some time for me <laughs> but I am so excited and you get to as you open up things like I just opened up the New England wing I wonder if that means I can now talk to the new link New England uh, vendor if she'll like actually talk to me now Anything you're interested in? okay so what do I need to get the okay you have to get the Sasquatch mnemonic pedestal first for that okay so but what about some of the the shirts the shirt requires the boogeyman mnemonic pedestal superior <gasps> oh so you've got to get blue level before you can start buying the shirts but I wish you could at least preview them so you could see which one you really you know kind of want so you can decide do you want to figure out which critter you want on display first do you want to go by which t-shirt you want to wear first <laughs> or which pet you want to get first oh my goodness so here's a tame dacab I already have one of those uh, an as ooh, a blue I think I have him a cadaverous bear that's it that's what I want oh but you need the shambling bear pedestal and that is in the undead one mmm I didn't open the undead one yet that may be next <laughs> that may be next need more loot to be fair I returned after reading MJ's article and was getting lots of AP in the Egypt instance just plain missions I've missed oh that's awesome so I'm not quite understanding what the difference is between his first draft, second draft, etc. It's the first, okay, so the first draft, you get to buy your first three wings at the first draft price. The fourth, fifth, and sixth wings, so the next three, then cost second draft. So basically it's going to up in price the more wings you open. Your first three wings... Are, let's see so first three wings are all 50,000 second three wings are a hundred and fifty thousand your next three wings so that would be seven eight and nine those are four hundred and fifty thousand each and then the final three the last three to open are a hundred and one million three hundred and fifty thousand so so you need to pick which rooms you want to be working on first <laughs> you really need to pick them first because they get more expensive exponentially more expensive <laughs> need more loot oh no so much for my evenings golems are a go <laughs> oh yes yeah, so that's gonna be so much fun I'm gonna be I'm gonna be raking in the AP now remember there's also an AP cap so you you want to be careful you have to be sure to get in here and spend some of it and then get back out let's see need more loot fainted at the prices <laughs> oh that is true but remember you you know this is meant to be a long-term endeavor it's it's probably not meant to be right away and there are people that have tons of money in this game I'm just not one of them all right so I totally want that undead bear pet so do I unlock the undead one now or do I wait because I kind of want to do something from Transylvania Ooh, decisions decisions I do want that undead bear 
Well, I think even just looking at the requirements of the pedestals in this first one gives you an idea of what's going to be required across the board, I mean, generally speaking, so you can start getting your ducks in a row, as it were. Yeah, you can start you picking. You can start picking your stuff. So, this is my only open wing right now. So the other cheap wing that do I... I've got three. Um, the other one I think I want to focus on more. Like, right now there's there's Akib. There's the Revenant. I really kind of want to do the Revenant. That I wonder if there's a Revenant pet. <gasps> I didn't look and see. Um, but... Can I sprint in here? Woo! Um, so how many of the Transylvania one? Wait, Transylvania was this way, wasn't it? Or... Nope, it was this way. <laughs> There's actually a map here. I don't know if you guys... Oh, not here. Where is it? There's actually a map right here. Shows you the different wings. Look at that. Which ring is Transylvania? The purple. Menagerie of the Vampires and Local Legends. Ah, I... Alright, so I want to do the two Transylvanias, and I want to do two here. And then Global, you've got... Whoa! Whoa! Hello! Okay, I clicked on it. Made it more visible. Um, Guardians and Automatons. <laughs> Strains of the Filth. Children of Hell. Alright, I want to do Reanimated, and I already did Local Legends. Oh my gosh, Japan's has it. Orochi, Audacity, or Folly. Oh, I wonder what those are going to be. <laughs> I think I'll, um, I can s not, not skip Egypt right now, but not do Egypt right away. Oh, guys, I don't know what to spend my points on. I want that pet, so that makes me want to open the reanimated so I can get that bear. But the the vampires was cool. Mm. All right. So you've actually got to do a lot to try to figure out what you're doing. Now, stay in here, cat. Now, I was told, and I want to see if this is correct, once somebody is brought in, the owner doesn't have to stay inside their museum. So I'm going to see if my leaving leaves cat inside the museum because it's supposed to do that. Need more loot? My post today. I want an apartment now. The secret apartment in the school. <laughs> All right. So I am outside. Are you still in? Yes, I am. There you go. So you could actually log in, start a party in your place, and then you can leave. You don't have to stay. But the people cannot go in without you first being there because they've got to meet up on you. Or it, yeah, basically in their group, meet up on you or meet up on you. That's how you get into somebody's instance. So, sweet. Well, shall we run around and look for lore, I guess, in Kingsmith? <laughs> I need lore. Not Kingsmith. Akab, we probably would want to do Savage Coast. Yeah. Or what were the other ones? No, Revenant? Revenants? There were Revenants. Well, there's Revenants and Savage Revenants. Coast. Yeah, they're at the Innsmouth, I believe. The bogeyman's going to be at the park in Savage Coast. Yeah, but that's probably going to be... I, I bet you're going to have to find that in the instance. I mean, when you're actually going through that. Oh, <sighs> I got a, um achievement for visiting your museum. Oh, sweet! Hey, come out. Maybe I can visit your museum. This is so exciting. So this is, I mean, this building has been here the whole time. In fact, we had to, during one quest, you came and you read a playbill that was on it or something. Do you remember remember that a long time ago? Wasn't this the building you had to come read a playbill? Yeah, there was like a message attached to the door, which as I was approaching, I was wondering how that's going to affect that quest. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Okay, so go into yours. And then I'll meet up on her. Let's see if it'll. And the other thing that's interesting, though, like I opened my door to the museum. 
Um, it's supposed... Oh, look at that. And there you go. There's your you. There are seven different poses that you'll be able to earn. Some are achievement-based, stuff like that. Seven poses. Um, I will tell you, they do have jazz hands. <laughs> I'm totally going to get that one. I'm not sure how to get it, but I'm going to get that one. <laughs> I'm not supposed to spoil everything, and I didn't even know everything. Um, but so the doors, if you go and like one of your rooms is not finished, even though you've unlocked it, leave the door closed. Nobody can open a door in your, in your museum. So you actually have to run through, open doors, and, and then you can leave. Okay, need more loot. I will spend my AP before I hit 100 usually. Nice to know it's a cap. Yeah, I have an extended cap. So my cap is like, I don't know, 450 or something now. It's like the more you spend, the more you get to spend kind of thing. Ben silencing. Just think how much of an investment will be if you have a tune in each faction, which I do. <laughs> Guild parties, yes. <laughs> Oh, MXO. Okay, so while I was moving, I came across my Matrix Online magazine and, uh, of course, my boxed version of the game and everything. And I was like, I can't get rid of it. You know, my daughter is like trying to, we don't need this, we don't need this, we don't need this. And I'm just like, no! In fact, it's going to be really sad because the configuration I have for the office isn't... I mean, initially, I thought it was going to be back facing the other way, so there's going to be a bookshelf, and I was going to have it just totally filled with all my different gaming memorabilia. So if I actually did do a on-camera live stream, you guys would get to see all my little Rouse Dowers and my... I have a bottle of Daybreak wine, of all things. I have, um, you know, pork uh, tutty and beans, cans of tutties and beans, and... I mean, I've got some really fun game stuff, and I was going to have it behind me so you guys could see it, but this configuration isn't. There's only a closet door behind me now. That's kind of a bummer. But it's the only way that the, everything fit together. Hmm, I may have to figure this out. I may have to change around again. <laughs> I think I need to show off my Tutty and Beans. Let's see, Ben Silencing, a lecture announcement. Oh, yes, that the lecture was, like, canceled. Let's see, Thrantos, Matrix Online was pretty awesome. It Secret World does the, the real world, so immersion really well because it is real world and, and it's easier to feel that. But Matrix Online, because the whole idea of the Matrix is being jacked in, it, you know, it was so immersive that it was mind-blowing because you're like, you know, I know I'm in a game, I know I'm playing a game, and I know the real me is outside, but it just was really cool. And it was the first game where I experienced, you could go in all the buildings, you could look out the windows and see what was going on outside the windows as it, you know, was live. Uh, there were a lot of the devs popped in and, and, and did these GM events often, often. It was, it was, it was pretty cool. So yeah, missing out on that game is, was sad. need more loot glad you got the move sorted yeah I'm here I'm still um, living out of boxes the living room there you can't get to the TV like I ever watch TV <laughs> the chairs are under boxes the TVs I, I have the table out my kitchen is kind of set up my bedroom is pretty much set up and the office corner with the computers is set up the whole rest of it's not but you know I'm getting there I'm getting there Ben silencing, that's a beautiful idea. My camera set up, the camera pointed at the bookshelf, and me sitting off screen. You know, I am so going to do that. I am going, I'm totally going to do that. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's try to, we need to be on a lore hunt. So if you've played the game for a long time, chances are that you have actually physically earned a number of these requirements. You've gotten a lot of the achievements for the you know, 25 kills or whatever, the beginning level stuff. You probably have a lot of it for the next level too. So what, oh, hello. Ah! So what you're going to have to do, mostly, 
is go and find this new lore and this is all a new lore in the game and uh, Roman was talking about how you know the lore writer guy was that Josh was that the one who left maybe he left because he had to write these hundreds of thousands of lore <laughs> okay it wasn't that much but he had to write a ton of lore for all of this like yeah I took a new game a, a new job that would you know not not mean me writing 800 new lore pieces for the game in a month. <laughs> Let's see. Have we got any more friends online? Can we steal more friends? Not yet. Ow! Oh my... Whoa, funny bone hit the desk. So, I showed you guys all the chair on Twitter. The chair has returned to his people. It was too short, <laughs> and uh, the arms hit my second desk, so I could never turn and work on it. It was kind of a bummer. Um, so I am back in the folding metal chair, <laughs> and I tried out this one chair, and it's really awesome, and it had this for sale price tag. The arms actually moved up, and it was tall enough, and I was about to get it, and then opened my big mouth. I'm like, wait a minute, did that say... It was done May, or was it June 4th? You know, here it is, the end of June. So we went to the front, and he's all, yep, yep, that's back to full price. I'm like, I'm not able to spend $200 on a chair right now. Sorry. So no chair for me. And then everywhere I go, so I have my GPS to help me out, right? Which is nice, but the GPS doesn't tell you when they have parts of freeways down for construction right now. So I, I've been getting diverted around places and it, it's been an adventure. <laughs> As I'm like, where am I? Can I just get home? Somebody please take me home. Country roads. Take me home. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to do it. Not going to sing. Not going to sing. Okay, so we want Revenant. I think I want Revenant first. Now, the place I remember the Revenants the most are on that quest going towards the lighthouse. You know? When you're following that little trail of dead Arachi bodies. could describe so many places in this game. The road on the way to the lighthouse! <laughs> I'm in the trail of dead Arachi Oh! <laughs> trail of dead Arachi bodies. 98% of the secret world. Um, I, I did really try to... About. Yeah. Need more loot. Plus one singing debris seems only fair. Singing for him. <laughs> Can I get one in the sandbox? Oh, well, oh, we're not far from the sandbox. We can go back and check it. Basically, the lore... Now, lore can be, like, dropped from killing bosses. You can also get the ability to... Do, whoa. Well, there's a lot of guys over here. So, lore can be dropped off of killing things, it can be off of, um... Whoa, they just ran away. They were afraid of you. There doesn't seem to be lore. Um, of course you can, like, find them places. This story. This Halloween story rocked, man. I cannot wait for this Halloween. I mean, not that I want the year to completely disappear that fast, but Halloween in the Secret World is something I look forward to, like, more than pretty much anything. 
Oh, lore does come out of static lore icons, but need more loot. There are there have been a number of times and places where um, when you kill a mob, one will drop. There are actually specific sets of lore where that is the only way to get a certain lore, is you kill the boss, the end, something like that, and he drops the lore. And it only sits there for a limited time, too. Looking for lore in all the wrong places. Looking for lore in so many spaces. Yeah, let's just... Looking for lore. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for lore. Let's just pick them all up. How many of them do I have? Oh, dude. Some of them are still up. I'm hoping some of the lore will be fairly easy to find, right? It's supposed to be, so the first level of lore, you only have to find one-third of the lore for that uh, particular creature. Then for the second level, you have to find two-thirds, and the third level, you have to find um, all of it. Okay, this is not quite the right road I was... There's the lighthouse out there. See, you can see the light, even if you can't see the house. Revenant lore and the first... Oh. Unlooper knows where one revenant lore is. Sweet. So it's maybe not necessarily in the areas where the mob is. Maybe, well, there are revenants in Kingsmooth as well. Uh, but see, yeah, this is going to be something that unless you feel like cheating, um, like I went ahead and took a hint, so we can get one lore, at least. Um, like, I'm pretty sure you might find... Wow, is that a side quest I've never done? It is. Wow. Trying to think of that. Alright, what if you go this way and turn the other way this time? Around the park. Oh, no, I don't quite want to go in the park. But I do want to go this way. Alright, here we go. Here's the crashed car. I mean, I know they're not... They shouldn't be, like, super easy, but... And it doesn't mean it's all going to be in one zone. I mean, it can be in any of the zones you find them, but I'm pretty sure the New England lore is going to be, you know, New England-y so that people can actually access it. This is the Trail of Dead Arachi Bodies area. There were little revenants that were always attacking you. Wait, what is that? <coughs> what is that? Ambusher Ooh, Lieutenant. You do! You do! Is that you up there? Yep. Woo! Look at that. We're totally going to grab the lore. Scarecrows! So, no matter how much you might be wanting to start a certain kind, 
you might actually not. Now, look at this. Okay, I wasn't supposed to show this or talk about this before, but look at how many lures are in the bestiary. Looky, 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 yeah. So now you see why somebody writing the lore might become, you know. <laughs> First scarecrow quickly became known for its gruesome affect affectation to keep the body parts of those it killed. Not intelligent as much as pri primitively cunning, scarecrows showed up a chant for endless malice. Only the sharing of their pain eased their pain. And so it was that the first scarecrow, the collector, took its revenge on its creator by strangling the life out of Archie Henderson's daughter and arranging her remains for her father to find. That night, Archie ended his life with her straight razor. Yowzers! Oh, finding all of this lore and reading all of this is going to be so amazing. So stinking amazing. Alright, so... We've heard of one revenant piece, so I am going to ride this road down, check it out, and head to Kingsmooth for that hint that we got. So yeah, see that was right near Scarecrows, but there are Scarecrows many places. There are Scarecrows here, there are Scarecrows in Blue Mountain. Gotta look up, gotta look around things. Yeah, they like to hide them on little rock ledges and such. Yeah. Look at houses. I can't jump up any farther, okay. Oh, I couldn't jump on the roof. Yeah, that first Orochi body, isn't it? Is it this one over here? I thought it was one sitting up by a tree. See, and there's the second Orochi body. Here a body, there a body, everywhere Orochi bodies. <laughs> Old Orochi's had a corpse. What the heck? Sorry, I just had a thing pull me off the game for a second. And not only did all those lures have to be written, so you saw how many types of lore there was. Now remember, inside that, there can be like three to um, ten lore or more for each one written for all of those chimney crickets. Hellbound stuff. I can imagine there being some of that uh, down here at the hotel. TSW jumping puzzles for all the lore. Thankfully, no, there are not jumping puzzles for all the lore. So yeah, somebody who just really only wants to get this done will probably probably wait until someone starts putting notes of where everything is, you know, and then just go get the, the lore that way. But since I don't like to do that... I had to try. I like really have to revisit every single tiny place in the secret world again. Everything. Looking for lore. It's gonna be crazy fantastic. <laughs> no phones, AC, no pets. Oh, I guess I can't go to the Overlook. I am a pet! All right. Oh, wait a minute. So our hint was first city Kingsworth. Okay, behind a tree close to the small pool on the park. Wait, Kingsworth has a park? I know they have the little play area, the little playground. Is that considered a park? I didn't think there was a pool there. 
Where's there a pool here? See, there's a playground here. See, here's the playground. Pool. Isn't there a fountain or something at one of those parks? Maybe? Because the one, the Raven's Quest stuff around a fountain. You go right there in the park. In the kid's park. The big raven comes out. And, and gives you grief. I guess by pool, I'm thinking swimming pool. Swimming pools and movie stars. The king's move hillbillies. No, 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 no. Oh, second right of town center? So yeah, in here... Whoops, I didn't jump. The one revenant, see, he comes here. You don't want to... Oh, somebody's got a, the quest going, so you don't want to click any of these things to mess them up. They're actually doing a quest. So that actually summons a big revenant right in there. Thor. There's no... Oh, I get, I get... Oh, I guess there is water in that thing. Huh. I thought it was just dirt. I thought it was just dirt. Woo! Two more revenant lore, and then I can put down a revenant pedestal. Okay, let's read it. We gotta read this one. <clears throat> Our wisdom flow so sweet. Taste and see. Transmit. Initiate plague signal. Receive. Initiate the murder of one. Now there's no going back and there's something undead in your mind and your eyes and your heart and your head. Illumine the local legends of New England. Witness the revenants. Okay. So look at this. See, look at this. Akab have eight. Anthropods have seven. The Blagini have three. Boogeyman has four. Cultists have six. Look at this. Ghouls have eleven. Wow. Don't try to do ghouls right away. Oh. Mummies have twelve. Spectres, eleven. Oh, vampires, thirteen. Oh, Wendigo is ten. Zombies 13. Oh man, oh man. That's ouch. Oh, there we go. So, there you go. The first revenant. Wow. I see Yeah. That was that was quick. <laughs> I hear we were going to sit here and watch them and then it was like all done. Let's see. Need more loot. Phone com won't let me out of here. They locked me. Pass me food for each lore item. <laughs> Some of the lore text is probably like, this is a bad thing. That did bad stuff. Send help. I've been writing these for months. <laughs> oh. Need more loot says he's going to wiki them all up. That's okay. Power leveling at its finest. <laughs> yeah, that was... Oh my gosh. So, we literally need two more. And, uh... Hmm. What are other places the revenants tend to... That one quest, yeah, that really helps. Hmm. Is that the academy? Yeah. Well, wow. Yeah. So yeah, some of it depends on their definition. Like the stuff out by the lighthouse, I would consider zombies. No, no, no. The when you did the quest following the Arachi bodies, the revenants popped out and got you. 
that's why I went there, not the zombies. Oh, it's been so long ago. And then there's another one where the revenants pop out at you on the other side of Kingsmith here. Yeah, the raven's quest kind of leads you around Kingsmith. So, yeah, I, I would think there'd be some in there. Pretty much gonna have to scour all the zones again. <laughs> Pretty much. That's, I mean, it's going to be, now I don't mind if I'm in here and I'm looking for some and I have a friend also looking for some and a friend finds one. I mean, I don't mind sharing the information a little bit that way. I just don't want to, you know, wiki look it up and miss it. Because this is, I mean, finding finding them is, is part of the fun for me. Although I admit it's probably going to get really frustrating come uh, when you're nearing the end. Like how many... How many did I need for Revenant? Eight. So I need three to start with. Two out of 279. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's almost worth starting a character over and just playing through <laughs> to learn where all the lore is. And then you just have to remember and go after it with your other characters. So, on this map, like, I remember there were the revenants that um, follow you and pop up some when you, um, you're doing that one help from the camp. You're helping the guy you couldn't deliver. Ugh. And then there, really? Something just run up to me? Oh. No, it ran past me. Oh. Okay. Is that because you ran past me, Cat, or something? Because... Possibly. I'm running around. Oh, Arkham. We're on Arkham. Hey, I like this shot. We need this shot. That's going to be my next streamer. <laughs> my next stream head... Oh, do not enter. <laughs> So what you open may be more dependent on what you actually find. I mean, and there are revenants in Transylvania, too. So, you know, there are revenants everywhere. So it could be that, like, you're not meant to get the full... Are, are they going to keep the lore locked to kind of the island area they're at? I'm hoping they do that. So, like, everything you need for uh, the Kingsmith one, I'm hoping is actually in Kingsmith. And not like, you know, I understand the global one is all over, but like Revenant, I'm hoping there's no Revenant lore in like Tokyo. You know, that would just, that would be, that'd be cheating to me. <laughs> this game is gorgeous, you know. I just, in its, in its creepiness, it's awesome in its creepiness. Oh, hello. She has no jaw. I'm bleeding. <laughs> Alright, I gotta stop looking at chat, because I'm starting to get too many hints. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to be all about scouring the area again. So, I mean, you might as well go through, do all the missions again, or do them on a new character. Or if you're just starting the game, that's like the primo optimal time, because you'll come in, you'll get to start all this from the beginning. By the time you get to where you can actually open one, you, you'll, you know, be ready. You'll have lore, you'll have stuff. I found a lore. You did! All right, we need to bring our UI back in. Whoops, that's not it. That's it. And find you. Oh, you're not that far from me. I mean, there's 279 lore stuck in this game, so there's going to be a chance of finding more lore. The trick is going to be, which lore do you find? This one's a drug lore.
There you are. Woo! Uh, I just fell off. Um. Wow, I'm impressive. <laughs> oh, that wasn't. Whoa! <laughs> okay, let's try that again. <laughs> that was interesting. And because I didn't find all the lore before, I'm never going to know if all the lore, if I'm finding all the lore, you know, of the bestiary, or if I'm finding some of the other lore. <laughs> yeah, I'll have the same issue. The Draug of Kingsmouth are very real, very corporeal. When the fogs came, the townsfolk walked into the sea to drown, rising again from the waters, driven forward by pale humanoids, clad in the seaweed of the Sargasso. These pallid creatures sported shells and all manner of aquatic growths. Their bloated bodies crawled with marine carrion eaters and parasites, becoming walking nests of the crustaceans that served their will in symbiosis. Adapted to life in the ocean, they look deceptively awkward on land. Their presence is betrayed by their putrid stink rot that they carry from the bottom of the ocean. Their decaying undead brains carry no mercy or empathy. <laughs> okay. And see, oh, and I've got one museum lore. I guess there's four lores. Initiate erudition signal, receive, initiate and preserve instinct. It belongs in a museum. Illume the mind palace, witness the British Museum of the Occult. Hmm. Looks like you might want to be on the event channel if you're hunting lures. Looks like there are people shouting out when they find it and doing a meetups true. I, I don't know. I don't quite want to do that. If you guys want to, though, that sounds like a good thing to do. If you do slash join event, or is it chat join event? I haven't been in the event channel in so long. I don't... I mean, event channel is going to start being important come the, the golems, because that means every time a golem is, is spotted, an anniversary golem... That's what I can do. I can give away anniversary golem bags on my next Secret World stream. That's going to be at the right time, right? Anniversary event should end... Oh, won't start probably next... Maybe won't start next week. By next Thursday. <laughs> Need more loot? Just realize there hasn't been a death so far. <laughs> yeah, gotta find all the shinies. So, I'm sure... I mean, it's, it's gonna be... It's gonna be an issue finding all the stuff. It's gonna take some time. Time. If I could save time in a bottle, I'd probably just drink it. Oh, look, the broken RC plane. I've actually never. <laughs> I've never finished that quest on this person. Wow. Well, that's. I mean, that's a little taste. So, you guys know you can get in game and you can get in your museum like instantly. You don't need to wait. Uh, the most difficult task you have to do is actually walk the streets of London, <laughs> which may or may not be, you know. You have to go close to the Templar area, which maybe that is a little creepy to you, you know, having to get so close to those icky Templars. Um, um. <laughs> hey, my main is still a Templar. <laughs> Uh, but let's see and then you may once you once you open a wing when you go inside you actually complete an achievement that gives you your first pedestal so the only thing you may have to do unless you're brand new to the game is to come out and find some of the lore now I appreciate that they made it so you don't have to find all the lore before you start so you only have to find like right now we have to find three of eight um, and the Another next one. one. <laughs> wow, I stopped for a second and she's just becoming a lore finding monster. Woo! 
All right, we're totally going. You're not like like cheating, right? You're not letting them no, tell I'm you where they are. Just running around <laughs> for them. I keep looking over at chat, and if I look at chat while I'm running around, bad things happen. Ooh, water. Okay, that's weird. I had to kill some stuff here and it vanished. Uh... Seriously? You broke the lore? <laughs> It was right here. <laughs> I think she's trolling us, guys. Oh, I never... Did he ever... Ah! We got them in! We got them in! We must bring them. Bring them down. We must steal them. Make them a part of it. So, I just got into my museum. <laughs> what is going to be the first first one you think you unlock? Or are you going to wait and unlock after you figure out if you have lore for anything yet? <laughs> so tempted for Transylvania first, but I'll probably do New England. Yeah, Transylvania. Now that... But I want that undead bear, and I can't do the undead bear until I unlock the undead section. Ugh. This is really weird. I've never seen a lord just vanish like that. Are now, being tricksy and having them only show up at certain times for a certain amount of time? <laughs> <laughs> Well, like, there is the one in Tokyo where you kill the one mob and it drops in the middle and then you have to get it really fast because it does disappear. Well, this was sitting here before I killed anything. And it disappeared while I was killing them. Hey, watch, Raym, um, be kind and chat or you'll kind of get silenced. Just saying. Ben Silencing said, if TSW is still going in 2020, that would be awesome. Oh, yeah. Am I supposed to be going somewhere? Oh, you should, you should pop, uh, meet up on Tannic and go to his museum. You get an achievement for visiting someone else's museum. Cat's trolling me. She's telling me that there was a lore here, but there's not a lore here, so... Maybe, did you get it for killing something to start with, or was it there before you killed anything? No, it was sitting there before I killed anything. Wow. I was just running around letting things trail after me. Because nothing can really hurt me. <laughs> yeah. Well, if we get enough of them together, they will. Well, that's why I stopped to kill them. <laughs> Hmm. I think maybe vampires will be next. I don't. I don't know. Hey, LC two. Sorry that I was asleep when you visited Mumble the other day. Yesterday, I don't know. I was asleep. <laughs> MJ fell asleep. love the visuals of this game. It's just all so creepy and... Oh, did you guys read... Oh, is it impending or was it live? It was live! It was, wasn't it the Daily Grind today? I hope I'm not spoiling something that's actually supposed to be going out tomorrow. <laughs> the, what, what games need a, a new... What games need the next movie? I thought that was... Wasn't that today's Daily Grind? That's a couple days ago. A couple yeah. days ago. Okay. I, I, I was thinking that I 
Read it? <laughs> I'm with Justin. Days ago. The secret world totally needs to be... I agreed with the suggestion that it should be... It would do better as, like, an HBO series. Oh, yeah. But definitely a horror flick. The episodic nature of the series better than just a single movie. He's punching me. <gasps> Lore! I can't... I can click it. Did you get it? I got it. It's zombies. So you just have to wait. It just pops up. After you... I think it's after we... Well... I don't know. That was really weird because we had to, like, kill that guy and then he popped up. Yeah, the hulking zombie. So we had to kill the hulking zombie to get this one. We see the hulking zombie. Deformed monstrosities. They were physically changed by the occult energies in the fog, in the filth, in the centuries of layered wards and runes cross-hatching Solomon Island and other dark factors. They are grotesque accidents, and they are only shambling dead that will not answer to the whim of the Sargassa sea monsters. With their power, they have freed themselves from the control of the drog and wander the island as unpredictable walking weapons of mass destruction. That got dramatic fast. <laughs> that was lore number eight out of 13. <laughs> well, the first one, but number eight. So... Wow. Somebody might have just killed that or something. Which is why you could see it here. See? So basically... And now lore doesn't ever show up if you picked it up. So we'll never see if it drops again from another hulky monstrosity. But this is, this is going to be... Not just running everywhere, but we've got to run and look and look and run. And... This is definitely a long-term labor of love and insanity. LC2, being away for so long... Well, that happens when, you know, you spawn a new character. <laughs> Summer family activities. Oh, forget about that! Get them playing MMOs with us! Come on! <laughs> Need more loot as long as it doesn't end up like the kindred was for White Wolf's Vampire Masquerade, decent director, writers, etc. Yeah. That would be nice. Alright, I am going to jump in and check out... I am going to see which... which outfit you have on your... <laughs> Enjoy your visit. Oh, look at that. Oh, did you know also, besides poses, I believe some of the things you can get, it will make your... I, I thought they said it would make your statue bigger as you advance. Look at that. This is... Hello? This is... Hello? Now, can I buy from someone else's... Oh, I can. I can buy from someone else's curator, and I know you can buy from someone else's gift shop, but you have to be able to have earned it. So it doesn't matter if, if, if Tanik here actually earned everything and was able to buy it. It doesn't go off of what his museum is. It's only what you have earned. Okay, I kind of want a Smiler Mech shirt, but that means I have to do stuff in Tokyo. Oh, man, oh, man. <laughs> this is going to be a long term project. <laughs> Look at this, at least something in here is cheap. These postcards are only a buck. <laughs> they got the look of the British Museum store down pretty well. Oh yeah? I've actually I've been to a few museums in London. I still get uh, emails from them. They're like, come back and visit us. And it's like well sure, but that's kind of a little far away from me right now. <laughs> All right, well, this is where I'm going to call it stream-wise, guys. Um, partially because I want to eat dinner, and it's like, you know, going on 10 o'clock. And uh, partially because I'm sure you don't want to just run around and search for lore all night long. All night. All night. 
yeah. And uh, <laughs> I haven't done any full songs, but I have thrown a few of those out there. Uh, so remember, the secret world, is it actually in the summer sale? I had, didn't look. It is. <gasps> what is it for in the summer sale? Uh, well, some people were saying 50% off. I'm not exactly sure. I thought I saw $20 for the Ultimate Edition. <gasps> oh, okay. That would be sweet, guys. If you have not played The Secret World and the Ultimate Edition is up there for 20 bucks, that, like, gives you everything, basically. And uh, tons to do. You'll get in. You'll be able to start doing all this now. And pick pick your wings. I totally, I'm totally going to be going for one of the Transylvanias next. I think I'm going to have to do Vampires next. Look at this. It's down. All crypt like. If you don't get the secret world now, all the conspiracies will be talking about you. <laughs> so do it if you haven't bought it, guys. Go get it. If even if you don't have twenty bucks, go get the regular version. It still gives you, you know, issues one through four anyway. And you can get going. You can get going on your museum and. If you don't like anything horror conspiracy wise, then yes, this game is not for you. If the game has to be nothing but um, your favorite combat, then this game probably also isn't for you. But if you like spookiness, if you like uh, figuring things out, if you like jumping every once in a while because something freaked you out, uh, and if you like showing off achievement, you know, all of that stuff is in here. And it's a great place where you can use random information about composers or lore or things you never thought you would actually need to know. It's in here. <laughs> Sweet. And of course, if I'm ever in and I've got anything built, you guys are welcome to come in and pop in and see. Check out my museum. It's going to be a while, as you notice, before I get too much built up. Uh, so if any of you have really cool museums, actually, ooh. I wonder if I wonder if there's anyone. Oh, the joint sanctuary it hasn't been. I haven't been in. I haven't been in other chat channels in so long. Chat is it? Chat join. Ah, nope. <laughs> I'll like have to go look at my own things again. Or wait a minute, let me just see if talking channel... What, to, to join event? It's slash chat space join space event. The space. I forgot the space after join, but I was going to do sanctuary. Or sanctuary. Um, but let's... Uh, anyone have a museum with a few... displays let's try this they want to show off we'll see if anybody answers yeah bill's already saying bye and i'm like oh wait a minute one more thing one more thing i don't need food tonight guys we don't need food food is no big deal kind of creepy how the curator just appears in a puff of smoke Oh crud, do I? I kind of like how he follows you around though and you don't have to run halfway across the place again to buy something. Did I like shut event up or something? Oh, there we go. It's not been incredibly busy tonight on that channel. Oh my gosh, when when the anniversary event starts, it's going to be like... Oh yeah, it's hopping then. Q can't keep up with it. <laughs> oh, so I'm back in the market for a new chair, guys. I am sad that the ones with the arms that pulled up... I mean, I they probably would have had to given it to me for the price that they had advertised, but they didn't have any boxes up there. They only had the one that was put together. I probably could have gotten it for that price, but I was like, I gotta get home. All right, there's nobody, yeah. You notice the one person laughed at that because they're off 
looking for the lore, looking for the money, you know, <laughs> people are finding things in order to start getting their, their occult museums going. <laughs> it's going to take a wee bit of work. So we will call it at that. Hopefully by next week, maybe I'll have something to show in my museum. Um, but otherwise, we will be out hoarding AP like mad people so that we can buy and, and put down pedestals for one of our rooms. And uh, if I didn't say it before, I'm going to say it again. Get the Secret World, guys. It's totally worth it. It's one of my all-time ever favorite games. And I think you'll enjoy it. It's got my stamp of approval right there, right on the top. Do you see it? You see it? If you can't, it's because you need to get in the game to see it. <laughs> Have a great night, everybody. Keep an eye on the OPTV schedule on MassivelyOP.com because I might sneak a stream in on you tomorrow. You'll never know unless you watch. Take care, everybody, and have a great spooky, creepy, conspiracy-filled night. <laughs>